taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. A world famous Camp Nou in Barcelona, a stadium fit for the grandest of occasions. The national anthem of Uruguay rings out. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. of this nature, who can make the difference? Yeah, Luis Suarez, he can score from anywhere, Peter. He's capable of the sublime, but he's also not afraid to use his physical attributes to dominate defenders or to score. He's gone for it! Oh, real danger here! In for a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. I do. Steered forward. Ghana have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not. It's Luis Suarez. Oh, that was no routine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Nandes, Baba does well there, alert. And it's got through. He has crossed the line, and it's a threat. And now they can launch a counter. Well, there they. It's on a big chance. They score. <laughs> Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself. Uruguay draw first blood here. 
He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Asamoah. That's been drilled forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Goes long. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Torreira. Torreira really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Partey tried to play it through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Yeah, that does look a foul if he's given a free kick. He could be in here. Valverde, hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. And it's played forward. Now the counter. He's found his man. He's had a goal! to the game. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. And the referee brings the first half to a close. But it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. So, both teams heading off for the break. An interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half. But the score at half-time is 1-1. So we're just settling back into this second half. Uruguay clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Nandes. has gone for a reckless challenge there. And he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Keep defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Jimenez positions himself well and cuts it out. Torreira pings it out wide. Suarez is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Bentancur cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Uh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Very well to intervene. Partey. Over to the left. He's got options out wide. He's left his man. Got a sight of goal here. 
That intervention was very necessary. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Great run on the overlap here. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. Oh, shooting chance! down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Uruguay go into the lead. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. And it's Ayu. He's had that put on a plate. Garner making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it was pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to decide, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Wifrey has taken his time, but it is going to be another corner. That has sent him sprawling. Ghana are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Partey. Asamoah. Hoists it forward. And here's goes for goal. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation. It needs to be any time now, really. Valverde has created one goal already. Uruguay needs to hold on for a few more moments. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Chance to break. Luis Suarez. And there goes the final whistle. Uruguay start as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucially. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence.